Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ray Torn and welcome back to Galactic Civilizations 4 Supernova. So one thing I think is pretty cool is the diplomacy in the game and how they do seem to react to a lot more than you'd expect and we'll see that as we play. Uh, but one example is on display here with the Korath. Uh, so they say your military buildup concerns us. So we're getting negative two with them because they're a more uh, you know, military-like uh, species and so they're not happy that we've been constructing all these ships. And they're, they're concerned about it, which makes sense. That's something that uh, I think a civilization would comment on. It would affect their opinion of you, uh, particularly if they're a certain type of, of civilization. So yeah, I like stuff like that. Now, we did find one of those subspace gates. That's what I was thinking, that we might have one here. And so that's actually really good news because we might be able to expand over that way. We also found a black hole over here. Okay, so I was going to explore all this, but we can send another probe over that way. I think it's imperative that we go in here and see... Well, we don't have the, the technology yet, so we need to get the subspace streaming. But it is imperative we see what's over there. So we'll keep this probe like somewhat in the area. An interesting thing about the black holes is you can't get too close to them. Unlike in some other space games where you kind of just fly right into them and it's not a big deal. In this game, you do have to go around them, which uh, makes sense. All right, so this probe here is gonna continue the exploration towards these stars. Yeah, we'll keep on exploring this way. So we won't turn our probes on to auto-explore just yet. Still kind of direct them. It gives you something to do here in the early game as well. As you explore and see just what's all in your galaxy. Now, one thing I did just realize is we have not made use of this yet. Let's go ahead and do it to get the Universal Translator now. Yeah, that'll be pretty helpful having that immediately. All right, fantastic. So now we can talk to other civilizations. All right, so we can see that the subspace streaming is gonna be 12 turns. We do wanna prioritize that, but we don't wanna spend 12 turns working on it just yet. I think that would be a bit much. And so let's get something else instead. Oh, well, that's interesting. The Normandy is available in here. This was a ship I made. As you can see, design author Praetorian. Huh. Yeah, that's from my previous uh, playthrough. Okay, so yeah, we have uh, the ability to get uh, the Normandies. So I didn't know it saved that for multiple playthroughs. I know you can upload them, like your designs to, to uh, Steam. Very interesting. Okay, so yeah, we can get the Normandies. Do we want to continue getting stuff for our fleet? We might, since again, I think uh, warfare is inevitable. We can also get these extractors here too. Orbital extractors. Uh, yeah, let's go and do the, the military building, guys. And because we uh, can now communicate, we're going to take a look at the way trade works and different things you could say. So we're just talking with them. You can declare friendships, ask them for financial help, offer them financial help. Demand they remove your sh their ships from uh, our territory, and then you can do trade. And through the trade, you can offer credits, uh, demand that they declare war on somebody, or offer to declare war on somebody. Uh, you can open your borders up. We got peace treaties, exploration treaties, offer resources, tax. Tax trading can be very helpful. And then we can also trade ships. I've really been digging the diplomacy in this game. I think they did a, a pretty good job with it from what I've seen so far. Uh, also, we have access to the Galactic Bazaar, so the market here where you can sell or buy resources. Good way to make money in the early game. And it looks like we also have the Promethean that we need, so we don't even have to purchase any. And so I think we're going to go and race this through now so that we can go ahead and get the... Oh, well, we got a Heritage Center here to get some tourism. Uh, but yeah, we want the Eyes of the Universe. We want to start working on this. Uh, since it's a galactic achievement, so we are competing with everybody else for it. And I didn't leave any science locations open. Could put it here, and then you get the two science bonuses, and I think that's what we want to do. And it does give uh, adjacency bonuses as well. It seems it doesn't get any adjacency bonuses of its own. But yeah, it would grant it to these two. And so, yeah, why not? I'm going to boost our research here. So we're going to put it right here, guys. And it's going to boost both of them. Put it here as well, but there's other things we could get on this mountain, like influence stuff. 
Well, this one doesn't give me anything. So yeah, we'll put it here. The Eyes of the Universe. See if we can get it done in time. It's uh, going to take 12 turns. And I'm pretty sure you don't get that production if somebody beat you to it and you don't finish it in time. That's what I experienced anyway. Somebody beat me to it and then I didn't uh, I didn't get anything from it. Now, I do want to take a look at this, this uh, hound we got here. So not all that impressive. That's probably somebody you'd want to send off to a colony if there was anywhere else to, to colonize. What's interesting is that this is an entertainer, a job we don't have access to just yet. But sometimes it'll start uh, as a, a certain job, and that can include jobs that you don't yet have the tech for. So I'm tempted to leave him as an entertainer, despite the fact that Brandon is not very good when it comes to social. He'd be better with uh, diligence. Yeah, far better with one of the diligence jobs. Uh, but, yeah, unfortunately we'll just have to leave him as an entertainer just because we don't even access that, so why not get the approval bo uh, bonus for that? And this dog, Xander, not impressive at all. Okay. So yeah, we don't want to move uh, any of our pops around right now. All right, so we'll see if we can't get that construct in time in the uh, 12 turns. We are very high up when it comes to production uh, manufacturing. So I feel like we got a good chance to get it done. Oh, I didn't even see that resource was over there. That's a shame. Yeah, we could have used that. So he set up a star base over there first. And so, yeah, that's a bummer. Now there is something we can get here, so we might want to get a constructor and then uh, build that so we can get access to that resource. Let me see if there's any other resources we could capitalize on. I think that's it, guys. I really feel like, well, there's something up here. It'd be kind of far away, though. But there's two locations there. So I'm tempted to go that way. It would take a while to get over there, though. Yeah, it's an option, though. All right, so we did get a situation report. We, the Korath clan, have a long-standing tradition of games that test the true capabilities of one's physique and mental prowess. For warm-up, your weak species would be well advised to provide some specimens for our warriors to practice on. So we can say only if I get to watch. Our people will likely be horrified by this decision, but it'll prevent conflict with them, so we'll lose approval, or refuse their vile proposal, which is what we're gonna do. And then we'll get a penalty that says something like we have too much spine. Yeah, negative two, you have too much spine because we stood up to him, and so they don't like that. We did get a trade proposal here. So they're asking for credits, 140, and one of our techs, the Starbase modules, for three technologies. Okay, none of these do we really need at this moment. I feel like she's getting more out of this, honestly. I mean, the space elevators are, are helpful. And this one's a nice galactic achievement, but we're already working on one of those. So I don't know that we'd be able to get that done in time. Yeah, I don't think this is worth it. I think she's getting a far better one. Yeah, and, and that she wants money on top of it. I think we're gonna have to reject this. What we won't actually reject, we'll just say, we'll just leave <laughs> without saying anything. It's super rude like that. Uh, so we do have the ability to get another one of these cultural perks, so we've already got that one here. This is the Code of Law. We'll get an additional policy slot. Or Family Values, population growth rates increased by 25%. I think that one's going to be a little bit more useful for us right now. So let's go for that. So we can try and grow our planets a little bit quicker since we're going to be very limited to how many planets we have. So it makes sense to make sure Sicily and Roma are growing as quickly as possible. Alright, so these guys are going to continue exploring up through here, not moving too far away from that. So that we can uh, go in there as soon as we have the tech. Well, it looks like we didn't move far enough. All right. So I don't know if we want to prioritize that tech next. I think we kind of got to wait till we get the 50% bonus with it being a 12 turn tech. Cause yeah, you'd be able to get it in six turns if you wait. Sometimes it throws me off the stars in the background. I think they're a system. So we'll keep revealing these systems over here. And then I really feel like we need to take advantage of that. And build something. Oh, there's a culture relic. Increases colony and starbase influence. So in order to take advantage of that, you have to have a starbase and then add a certain uh, module in there. I don't think a starbase could reach all three of these, honestly. So maybe you just want these two. 
because that one's pretty useful. Hmm. Yeah, we might want to get that. All right, so I think we should stop building the combat ships for now and work on getting some other stuff here. We have freighters, so freighters are trade ships. So you can set up trade routes, and that is what our economic advisor is recommending, but we're gonna get a construction ship, guys. In fact, let's build two of those, because we're gonna need them. All right, so this is what our fleet currently looks like. We're using almost all of our logistics for the fleet. That'll get a lot higher, so we'll have larger free, uh, fleets eventually. And our combat strength is six, that's the rating. It's okay for early game, I suppose. I'm sure our fleet is probably more powerful than, well, maybe not, at least some of them. Yeah, two of the, the ones in our, here in our sector, we have more powerful fleets than them, but uh, yeah, I'm actually a little surprised they have more powerful fleets than us. There's an approval rel uh, relic, increases colony approval. Okay, so yeah, we're finding some relics out there that we'd be able to take advantage of if we had star bases. And that is one of those pirate ships. And so remember, we got a mission to attack these, and we could defeat it. And so we could send our fleet over there. It's kind of a distance. And it'd take a while to get over there with our current movements and to get back. So here's another trade offer. The AI civs will make a lot of offers to you, usually for your tanks. And they're generally not too bad. Like in this case, I think it's probably a fair trade. But well, we could take that off and then get something else. Because yeah, if we wanted to, we could offer the open borders and it'd be like we're offering them something. I'd rather get like some money or strategic resources or something. They're not going to trade weapon systems. Generally, they have to like you a lot in order to trade military tech, which is smart. They wouldn't want to trade that away. They don't have much credits. We can just try and get some credits per month. It looks like we're just barely getting two credits per month here. But when you look at what we're earning, 3.51, that actually is kind of significant for us. So let's do that. And so yeah, we'll get that, and then we'll get these two technologies here. All right, so yeah, let's go and accept this, and this is just for one tech. So not a bad agreement there, guys. This also unlocked a policy slot for us. I almost want to get the growth. It was gonna, it is gonna affect the approval. I think in this case it might be worth it because again we're limited on our our planet numbers, and so yeah, I think that's uh, the way we're gonna want to go. Yeah, let's focus on growth, even if it does cost us a bit on the approval. I think people will still like us a lot. If we look at Roma's approval rating, it's 62% currently. So not bad. Over here in Sicily, where there's not as many uh, sieves, there's just the one. So you're only at 40% here, because this one sieve is not not very happy. It'll be alright. So we did get this Explorer. They're kind of like the flagships in that they can survey the anomalies, but not like the flagships in, as in that they, they don't have any of that uh, combat strength. They won't... Uh, they don't operate exactly the same, but uh, what matters is that we can we can scan stuff. So we'll send them over here to do. Let me just see, probably the, the space junk, just because there's nothing else out there right now that I'm seeing. No, so yeah, we'll send them over there. And work on that. So I think we got that from one of the the techs that we had traded for, and looks like that's it over here. Here's a Precursor Anomaly that's heavily defended. So you'd have to defeat them and that'd be difficult with that combat rating. So yeah, now we just reached their borders. So we'll just keep on exploring over here. And we can't go in their territory, but I think it like gives an opinion penalty, or at least that's what it says. I don't know if you actually do get the opinion penalty from going in their borders. When you don't have open borders, I mean. All right, so let's try and get away from that, that pirate. We don't want to get attacked. Are we going to avoid it? And then this explorer is going to start coming back down, this probe, I mean. Though I don't know that we'll have the tech in, in time when they get over here. Probably not. So we got that manufacturing district done. I think we might want to work on the shipyard. See how long this is going to take. Six turns. Yeah, we'll work on that right now. So we'll have two of those. 
and the discovery I suppose is going to move towards that artifact. Yeah, we'll start going towards the artifact. That's a bummer there's nothing else out here for us to scan. Oh, I suppose there's stuff outside our range. This is as far as we can go. That'll slowly increase and then we'll be able to scan all those. They might be gone by that point though. Uh, so this is the survey report and yeah, it looks like we just found an artifact cache. And so we'll add it into the vault because that's that 50 research again. But we'll wait until we get this one finished. It's probably, oh, no, take that back. Looks like it's got a little bit more to do then. So yeah, we'll, we'll go for that now, get it done. Could have used that as well to work on the subspace streaming. Yeah, I suppose that would have been an option. There's 164 tech, so you could have reduced that. Uh, but other choices that we could get weapon systems. This actually boosts our kinetic beam and missile attack. Uh, we've seen this one before, getting the modules and increased moves. That would be nice. Better move around a little bit faster. This will allow us to assign scientists. So that's a, a job that will be unlocked. So pretty useful. Okay, so let's get the weapon systems. This is the easiest to get and I'm considering going out pirate hunting. I'm a little worried about moving our fleet over there. I wonder how long it would take for us to get. That's not that bad. That's really not that bad. We'll go after that. And where are we going after planetology? Did we finish that immediately? Or something? Okay, yeah, it looks like we must have finished that due to the 50 research. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what happened. And then maybe even a little bit bled in here. So it does have the bleed over, clearly. Uh, but let's get the subspace streaming because we can uh, now get that with the 50% bonus. So yeah, we'll get that next. It's going to take nine turns though. So it's going to take quite a while. But I think it's worth working on. And so we'll keep on using this probe. In fact, we're going to go up this way and you can see that there's other stuff over here. So we need to redirect one of these ships. Let's see if we can find it. It's right here to come over here and scan this stuff that we just revealed. And then the explorer can come down here and do all that. And yeah, this probe, I almost wanna keep them over here so we know where the, the pirates are. But yeah, we'll keep on revealing stuff, I suppose. See what we can find over here. So this is the most populous civilizations. We're not in the top five, but the Altarian Republic is. Okay, so I might have to keep an eye on them since they're one of our neighbors here. All right, so we're at the edge here of the sector. And we got an event, the Dreaded Artifact. We've come across some sort of device left behind by the Dreadlords. We are not quite certain what it is and wanted to see if one of your researchers would be willing to review it. So we can take the artifact and activate it. Uh, with this corporate sector, we'll get a negative one relations but we get plus 100 ascension points or create a joint task force to study the artifact. We get plus one points and we get a hundred diplomatic capital. Hmm. Diplomatic capital is okay. It's you use it for trade. So you like trade it to other civilizations to get stuff. Well, the ascension points, I want to say that those are like a resource up here that are kind of rare. I don't think I got very many of those. So it seems super useful. Negative one relations isn't that bad. Yeah, let's take the artifact and activate it. So it's not a resource. You can actually get it as a resource up here. Like you'll find it and you can like work on it or whatever. And then it'll be giving you a point or whatever, how many you have of those. But you'll see this in the prestige victory, the ascension score, 17. And so it's like helping you towards, towards winning with that victory type. Yeah, I was thinking we might get something in here, but yeah, I don't think we did. Unless you guys saw it go up as soon as I uh, took that decision. But yeah, let's keep on looking around here with the probe, seeing what we can find. But yeah, we did uh, piss off the corporate sector here. Got a negative one because we kept the ancient artifact for ourselves. I feel like it was worth it. All right, so the, the probe here. Let's see, do we want to keep on going up that way? Now let's go over here. 
see what's in this area. All right, so we've reached their borders here. Let's see if there's any other artifacts to go after. And uh, we've got another event. So one of our esteemed generals has dared to stage a coup against me. We have successfully thwarted his treacherous plans, but he's managed to evade our forces and has taken refuge on your homeworld. It is of the utmost importance that you cooperate in delivering this traitor back to us. So we say we will find and deliver the traitor, and then we can increase relations with them, but we'll be increasing our totalitarianism, cultural awareness. Or we say this isn't really our problem, he can do what he wants, and we'll irritate them even further, and uh, we'll lose some control but gain some approval, and become more pacifist. Yeah, we'll find the traitor for you. Let's make up for that uh, little little problem with the, the artifact there. So we got the plus one, and we're back to, to being neutral there. All right, so we did get this constructor ship. And I think we should go up to this location here, guys. I'm tempted to go here instead, since it's closer. But let's start moving over that way, because it's going to take time to get there. There's also the approval, uh, approval relic that we can get. Well, that's pretty close to their borders here. I know this is way out here, but I think it's worth it going for this. Perhaps. We'll see. We're going to go out there. Might irritate some people. But we don't have anywhere else to build, guys. There's nothing else uh, that we can mine. There's no other colonies out here. I believe we colonized everything. I'll take a look real quick if there's anywhere that we found. Just this location here. Which is in their borders currently. So yeah, no other locations for us to colonize. Oh, we just found that with our probe here. And so yeah, we just don't have many options at the moment. And we are finding some goodies over here. Some things we could scan. So eventually maybe send our uh, flagship over there or whatever. Start scanning some stuff. As you can see, you get a lot of good stuff uh, from these events, or you can get a lot of good stuff. Alright, so we got a message from the Altarian Republic. They propose an arrangement. The Korak clan poses a significant danger. We think it's crucial to act before they become an overwhelming force. Although we can't act right now, if you initiate the war against them, we will grant you access to the knowledge of Plantology to aid your fight. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna fight these wards for you. Yeah, we're not gonna take on this burden. AI will often ask you to declare war on somebody they don't like, and then offer you something. And we got another event from Disputed Territory. Our territory contains a disputed region rich in resources. Unfortunately, a rival political faction on our world is also claiming it as their own. We're open to negotiation, but we need your support. If you back our claim, we will share the resources with you. However, if you remain neutral, we may not be able to maintain a friendly relationship. So we say support their claim and share the resources, hoping that the rival faction never gains power. Has a plus one relations with them, increased pacifism, uh, pacifism and uh, plus two for the, the spices. Or remain neutral. Yeah, we'll do this. Why not? We'll try working with them. Getting friendly. Currently, they're still neutral. They just got a plus one from supporting their claim to the disputed territory. But yeah, I like all the little events that you get. Interact with other civilizations. Uh, so, the survey report here is a defensive system. So, this event is similar to ones we've seen already. So we found something within a precursor ship, and then we have to decide what we want to do with it as a ship upgrade. So we can get a free field generator, so defend from laser weapons, defend from missile weapons, which is a free missile disruptor, or calibrate it to defend the fleet from kinetic weapons, a free integrity field ship upgrade. We'll do the laser weapon ones. Now you see the AI use all combinations of different weapon types, uh, so we need them to scan the next artifact over here. But yeah, lasers do seem to be kind of common. And you see our Roma fleet, which we need to rename that. Maybe like First Legion or something like that. Yeah, let's rename this. I just felt like we needed something a little bit more unique here. And we're going to have to go into their, their space to get through here. So they got a deep space star base over here. And that's what's increasing the size over here. And our probe needs to be given another assignment. We'll go ahead and uncover the rest of this space over here. And we did find a capsule. So come over this way next. And this is what, another probe here? Yeah. Alright, so we've uncovered all this. We just need to go into this space here. 
and start making our way back towards the subspace gate because we're going to get that in two turns. And so we want to go to make our way through that and see what's on the other side. See if there's any uh, expansion opportunities since there's nothing here. All right, so with the discovery, we'll go after this capsule next. Oh, somebody's already scanning it, so that's not going to work. So again, you are competing with the other civilizations for these these things to scan. So I suppose we'll go over to this one next and make sure there's nothing, nobody over there. Yeah, we'll go to that location next. And this is the survey report. So again, another hidden cache here. And so we'll add the artifact to the vault. And then yeah, just get the research. Although, I think we'll wait to the next. Even though there is bleed over, but it's fine. It's not like getting this is going to help us that much. It does increase your moves, I suppose. But yeah, it's, it's not going to help us that much because we're still a little distance over here. We can't even go through it just yet. A massive migration of strange space creatures are migrating through our territory. They're creating havoc in their wake. There's a great deal of political pressure on us to eliminate these creatures, but we have heard you have a fondness for these kinds of things. So we can protect the creatures, and this will ensure they safe passage, earning the goodwill of other compassionate factions. Or we could say we'll slaughter these creatures and extract new knowledge from them. They won't suffer too much, probably, and we'll get 100 in the treasury. I feel like as hounds, as dogs, we would protect them. And we'll see if that gave us a boost with anybody. I don't know if any of these people are compassionate. Seems like only them. We got a plus two from them. Or plus three, actually. But that is it. And we got a trade offer as well. They want that Starbase module tech that we have. And uh, we're going to have to decline on this one. Yeah. This is not useful enough. Or just not decline and not respond to them. So yeah, they've been communicating us uh, with us a lot. Has this one already been surveyed too? Or is that the message we got from that one? I think, I think it's from that one. Well, actually, it's from this one. I see. So running out of stuff to scan here. I think we're going to go over this way because I assume we'll be able to find some more stuff on that side that we can scan. It depends on if there's any civilizations right on the other side, though. All right, so we got the increased moves here. Uh, let's go ahead and go after... Let's also increase the moves and get you more modules. So yeah, maybe we'll go after that then. Yeah, let's go after this one here. And then we'll rush it with that science bonus there. So we got our second shipyard here. I think we're still going to wait to get this just because it doesn't take too long. We need to get more manufacturing here, clearly. Now, we can't upgrade it, uh, all the districts, and that improves uh, all their levels. But I think it's better to, to get a, another manufacturing district right here first. could also put it here, but it gives you a negative one. So it is nice because it's next to both of these. So you're going to get uh, plus three total and then lose one. So you're going to get two. But yeah, this here is going to give you three, so it's clearly better. So we'll get that one, and then maybe after we're done with that, we can start working on this one. Maybe we'll have enough manufacturing to speed that up a little bit. All right, so our probe over here. What have we not uncovered? I always got to zoom out to see. It's kind of hard to see it from here. Yeah, you can kind of see it where you have, haven't yet uh, uncovered. So it seems there was another black hole here. Somebody's built a, a star basin. So we could get uh, a constructor. I suppose that's what we'll do. Yeah, this is going to take a long time. Because they don't have as much uh, military production as Roma does. And unfortunately, this will have to be the last turn here. Yeah, we can just get uh, these guys moved towards here. And you see it's going to take them two turns just to get over there. And these guys will continue moving over this way. Well, I guess this will end the turn, since we had already clicked end turn. So might as well go ahead and do some other stuff here. Uh, so what did we finish constructing here again? Uh, another constructor. Okay, so I didn't realize we had just gotten one. That's right. Uh, we're going to send one over here, and then one over here. Uh, they already got that one, so yeah, let's hurry up and start moving over there before they do. 
So yeah, we want to put them like right here or so, just to be within range of getting uh, that bonus, that resource. And then, what else do we want to get here? Suppose we start trading and like open borders with some sibs, figure out who we want to be friendly with. That would be an option. And we can continue to build up the fleet as well. We have those Normandies that I built. So the Normandy has a lower beam attack than the Hounds and instead has the whole reinforcement. So it has the higher health. So nine health compared to the Hounds, five. And because of the higher health, it actually has higher combat strength than the Hound does. But we could design that ourselves if we wanted to. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna get the, I suppose we'll get the uh, freighter here for trading. Yeah, we'll get that built. Because we do not earn very much money here. 5.18, that is it. You can see we're doing all right. We're very much in the middle of the pack here for uh, you know the civilizations that we know. And then you're just looking at your civilization rank you're in the middle on some of these. First place here for approval, ninth place for income. But yeah, we're doing okay, guys, given the circumstances and our, our, our rough start. But hopefully we'll find something on the other end of this, whatever wherever this sector happens to be, uh, somewhere we can start expanding. Uh, so we'll be stretched out between two different sectors in that case. I well, hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. do hope to see you on the next one, and thanks for watching.